arms up, nice and high. Right knee comes up, externally rotating, and bring your right elbow down to the knee. Now, as I bring my right elbow down, I reach my left up as high as I can. Let's change sides. As we do this move, what I want you to try and do is I want you to pull the belly into the spine, bring the armpit down towards the thigh, and at the same time, I want you to reach the other arm up. Ten more seconds. Second move will be on our hands and knees. If you have bad knees, make sure you have something under your knees to cushion them. If they're really bad, we can find an alternative. So we're in table, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, elbows a little bent, shoulders down away from the ears. Right arm, left leg, level with the torso, and switch. Now you can do this move flat on the floor, so on your tummy. And when you do it flat on the floor, you just lift the opposite arm and the leg up from the floor. And hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to keep my back and my pelvis in one position, bracing the belly really strongly. Now I'm working into my glutes, which is my backside muscle, and my shoulders. And then flip over onto your backside. Bring your hands to the backs of your thighs. And then sit back. And up. Sit back. And up. So we're not going all the way down. We're only going around halfway. Now, if you find that's okay for you, what you can do then is you can just have the hands away from the thighs and you may be able to go a little bit further back. If you didn't want to get on the floor for this one, you could actually sit on a chair. But if you sit on a chair, make sure it's a sturdy one and sit side on. So the back of the chair is by your back arm and you can just hold on to the back of the chair for stability. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to repeat those moves again. So jump up, standing side crunch first, arms up, right side, pull down. Now it's all about contracting the side where you're lifting the leg and dropping the arm and lengthening the side where the arm and leg remain static. Change sides. Now it's very important to remember your breathing when doing any form of exercise. You want to breathe in and out obviously. I tend to breathe in and out through my nose, but you can breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth if you prefer. Let's bring it down to the ground, setting up for the table with opposite arm and leg lift. So reach and release. So remember the points I gave you last time. But the most important things are not to lock out the elbows, to keep the shoulders down away from the ears, trying to reach the hand and foot as far away as you can, belly really strong. So you don't want your back to start feeling sore because you're not supporting it using your abdominals. Now another five seconds and then we'll be sitting down into our sit backs. And change, so sit down, 
Now I gave you the option here, remember, of sitting on a chair or holding the backs of your thighs. And you can do that again if you prefer. Now I should have probably given you a standing option for that last move we did. And what I'll do is when we next stand up, I will show you a standing option if your knees don't like the kneeling option and you prefer not to lie on your tummy because some people don't like to lie on their tummy. So I'll give you all three options and then you can pick the one that's best for you. But in 10 seconds, we're going to go back to the standing side crunch for one last time. And up and over. So standing side crunch. Arms up, right knee. Now some people like to alternate sides and that's absolutely fine, but I find that if you stay on one side, you actually get more muscle fatigue. Because if you can imagine, as I'm working on one side, the other is having a bit of a rest and a stretch, change sides. Now we've got 10 seconds and I'm going to go through the three options. If you are happy with the kneeling arm and leg lift, go straight to that one. If you don't want to kneel, if you want to stand, your option is opposite arm, opposite leg in the standing position. Now you still need to brace your abdominals so that you don't hyperextend, that means overbend your back. You can come down to your hands and knees and continue there, which is what we have been doing. Or, as I mentioned at the very beginning, you can lie on your tummy, arms out to the front, legs out to the rear, head on a cushion or something, and you lift the opposite arm and leg up. Squeezing into the upper back. So whichever one you like, carry on for another 20 seconds. I'm going to go back to my hands and knees because I'm comfortable there. Don't forget your breath. If you're doing the option I'm doing, don't lock out your elbows and keep your shoulders away from your ears. Sit down. So we're going into that last one, which is our sit back. Hands on the back to the thighs or to the front, on a chair or on the ground. Sit back and up. So when I do this, I try and keep my back straight. Okay, it's not as if we're doing Pilates. Some of you may know a Pilates roll down where you C-shape um, the spine. But we're keeping it straight because we want to work into the abdominals and you might feel it into your hip flexors in the fronts of your thighs as well. Got another 10 seconds. Now a minute is quite a long time if you're a complete beginner. So if you need to take some time out and join back in on any of the moves you can. All right, let's have a stretch out. I'm going to stand up for the stretches and I'm going to start with the legs. And we're going to hold each stretch for about 10 to 15 seconds. Now the first one I'm going to do is a front of thigh. So I lift my heel up towards my backside. Now if you can't do this because you have bad knees, try this instead. Toe a little bit behind and then drop into the knees and tuck the tail, squeezing into the buttocks and then the arm on the back leg goes up instead. So that might work for you or you can change sides kicking the heel up. I'm going to go for the toe, knee and tuck on this side instead, just so you can see it again. And um, just I like it on this side. Okay, 
Let's bring it into a hamstring stretch. Leg out straight, heel to the floor. Back leg bends a little, but notice how my back is really straight. Now some people like to do this with their heel elevated on a step or something, and that's absolutely fine. And although I have my ankle flexed, it doesn't matter whether it's flexed or down. I just tend to feel it a little more there. Let's change sides. So heel, straight leg at the front, bend the leg at the back just a little. Tipping forward from the hip, straight back. And you still want to think about your abdominals, even though we are um, working our abdominals at the moment. We're tipping forward and our back needs support, so you do need to brace your abdominals. Bring it up, and we're going to go for calf stretch. So one leg in front, one leg behind, arms to the front and push away. So we're pushing the heel into the ground, bending the front knee a little. This is stretching out the upper back and into the calf. And we're going to stretch out the chest and calf just by switching legs and bringing the arm behind. And then a quick stretch into our abdominals. Link your fingers, bring them overhead, right foot behind left and lean to the left. And that's going to stretch out down through your side. Back to the center and switch sides. Back to the center and release and roll. So that's the second in my series of Absolute Beginners Club. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll have another one soon. Thank you for joining me.